we're both adamant about brushing our teeth. And this one right here, if he could brush his teeth three times a day, he would. We're actually very particular about a number of things in regards to hygiene. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And a big thanks to Pronamel for sponsoring this video. Pronamel Mineral Boost helps make teeth stronger and white. What's also cool is that it helps your body's capability of naturally replenishing minerals. So you can buy Pronamel Mineral Boost anywhere you currently buy your toothpaste. Or by just simply clicking the link you see in the description below. I have to share the story really quickly while he's brushing his teeth. Adam and I actually compete with each other who has the most clean teeth. We went to the dentist and he won. She did say I had very clean teeth though, just saying. I don't want to wear a very hard, but yours is one of them. That's true. I was born with a sensitivity of smell. So I can smell anything. When he she's, doesn't she's smell a something, hand. she's a bloodhound. Pretty much. She will sniff it out. I will sniff it out when I want to, and even if if I don't. Your breath cannot be bad. Halitosis, I don't do well with at all. And I'm that chick. If I smell it, I will find a very kind, nice way of saying it. And this is the thing, though. I expect it in return because I would hate to be walking around in the world with that. Oh, she asks me that question all the time. And how do I, can we show them how I, I how's, literally go, how's breath? my breath? <laughs> it smells like salad right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't smell bad. Nope, it smells like salad. And then the other thing is body odor for me. Like I have to have all my cracks and crevices smelling nice. And I will tell you this, my friends say my natural scent smells like chai tea. <laughs> I don't look at you and think of food. But like, smell that. I have no perfume on. What does that smell like? Kind of like a light baby powder. Oh, <gasps> see? Cleanliness is next to godliness. That's, that's <laughs> always been my saying growing up. Just saying. My friends were like, Tamara, you never smell? They actually went through my hamper to see if they can find anything, like smell, and they oh, couldn't. You, that's baloney. That's what they said. You smell me after I work out. That's uh, different. She can smell, <laughs> for the record. Don't let her fool you. No, but that's what they said. Don't let that face fool you. That's what they said. Well, they're wrong. When I was younger, I hardly would sweat. Like people would dance, you work out. They're like, oh my gosh, Tamara, like you don't, you don't sweat. So I really didn't have really bad body odor until I actually turned 35. <laughs> so I had this moment of, who is that? What is, so you went, what? Through, you went through puberty at 35. No, I swear it happens to women. I became a little bit insecure about my, about my underarms. Mm -hmm. And that's why now I am, I am so, careful about if I raise my hand or if I do that, I'm like, hoo, 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 I'm okay, I'm good. But yeah, it happened at 30, 35 and I, it knocked me out. Now, you know it's bad. <laughs> it knocks yourself out. I will say this about you, Adam. I love the way my husband like smells. He always has to put cologne on, like every day. But it's not like I'm bathing it. No, I- one spray. I know, but I love it in a way. Okay, this may, I never told you this before, but it's when you put it on mm -hmm. and you leave for work and the, the smell is still mm -hmm. in the room, it actually makes me smile. Is that weird? No, I like that. You do? That's yeah, good to know. Do you think that about me? Yeah, I mean, you're like, not just your smell, but you're everywhere. You know, in a good way, like we see. I know, that's sweet. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's yeah. so sweet. Thanks, Housley. You're welcome. Your showers you take very seriously. They are quick. I don't need to sit in there for very long. Get in, get it done, I know, get out. But, and you smell good. I think you inherited that from your dad. Art 
whenever I hug him, that's my father-in-law, it is a hug of yumminess. <laughs> and I knew that when we started dating, I was gonna be okay. Because you inherited that. Like my husband smells good that's all good. the time. Your natural scent of your underarm, I actually like. <laughs> and at first people thought that was really weird, but it's a primal thing. That really means I love you. That's good. It's, a, it's an attraction. Really? I'm not making this dish up, by the way. <laughs> so I love sleeping next to him at night and putting my head right there. Just, see, like right now, it's... <laughs> this is embarrassing. It smells... Oh! <sighs> I started taking multiple showers a day when I played actually minor league baseball because you shower when you get up in the morning, you go to the yard, um, you have batting practice, and usually after batting practice, especially when you're playing like in the south where it's 148 degrees and 150% humidity, and after batting practice for an hour and 15 minutes, you're just drenched. So you go and you take a shower and change into your uniform for the game. I'm not a big bath guy. I grew up taking baths, and then I did, but I, I just, Adam said, if you've noticed, how many times have I taken baths? Yeah, yeah. You've actually changed my perception on this. You said, because you actually sit in your dirt. <laughs> after you get out of the bath, there's always, well, it depends on how dirty you are, but after you get out of the bath, there's always like this little ring. Tamara has a routine, as we've seen on The Housey Life. And there's a lot of routine. <laughs> it can be long. One of them is her facial routine, which we know is a, is a thing. Always go up, ladies, up and out. Up and out. I can wash both cars driving to and from the car wash in the time she it takes works. to do her. Yeah, I mean, literally, she's aging backwards. She's the female version of Benjamin Buttons. Thank you. I will say that the only negativity of her whole routines are when she's like really into it and she's maybe rushing a little bit and then you walk into the bathroom. Oh. And it's like, holy. Wow. A tornado. The in every drawer, every cabinet, everything is out. And you're like, wow, A, that's a lot of stuff. B, ah, it's gonna take a long time to clean it up. But my stuff does have a place. So uh, once it is cleaned, yeah. it's tidy. The number one thing about teaching our kids about hygiene, for me was clean face, make sure your face is clean and your hands are clean, and then brush your teeth. That was my main thing. Huge. My parents instilled in me, you don't want your teeth so yellow that it could look like a flashlight. That's what my dad <laughs> used to say. And I heard that one, that's a good yep. one. Yep, he said, oh, when you smile, it's like a flashlight. I agree with Adam on that. I wanted to make sure that our kids, you know, teeth are, are clean, their face is clean. I'm working on the little eye boogies um, because they're a little afraid to like really, re really get in there and their their ears, behind their ears, all the all the cracks and crevices. Aiden your day, we went to the beach with Anna Raya. And I, I rolled over and my bed was, they, there was they, There was so much sand, sand in the bed. And I'm like, people, seriously. I put you both in the bath. How do you not get the sand out of your ears or whatever they were in? They are taking baths and showers yep. themselves they're right getting, now. Getting, so I gotta give props. them kudos yep. for that. Um, so to work so on that's the, good. We have to work on the quality. The quality the quantity's of- Quantity's there. The quality- Yes, they really have to like- Scrub behind your ears. Yeah. My parents instilled the terror in me of going to the dentist and having a cavity. So we brush our teeth morning and night because my dad had a couple of cavities as a kid. And he used to say, oh man, they don't, they drill and it hurts. And so from the time I can remember, we brushed our teeth every morning, every night. When you're five, six, seven, eight, you don't think about breath. You just think about, you don't want to go to the dentist. I kind of put the same fear in my kids. That is true. I'm like, Aiden, you don't like needles, man. If you don't brush your teeth, you never know. You're going to have to put a needle in and a drill. And then Araya's like, I drill. So they're into the brushing teeth thing too. Have you ever had a cavity before? Not officially. Wow. Yeah. So all that brushing really did help. Um, in more ways than one. In more ways than one. I actually had a cavity before. <gasps> it was on a wisdom tooth. <gasps> mm -hmm. But they pulled it out anyway. Oh. But I only had one throughout my entire Still counts. Still counts. life. Still counts. <laughs> well, dang. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you won that too. Not only does he have the most clean teeth in the family, uh, he's never had an official 
cavity. You know what bothers me? A dirty feet. I don't have dirty feet. No, we don't. I may have a bunion. No one does. But my feet are not dirty. No, and we and the kids, we always take our shoes off at the door. I'm always like, you know, when someone sits up and they put their feet up on the counter, you're like, whoa, what happened to the bottom of your feet? So no, uh, dirty feet's a big no-no for me. I don't know if my dad's gonna appreciate this. Uh -oh. My dad worked hard. So if your dad took off his shoes and you could smell it from across the room, that just means that they worked hard. Mm -hmm. However, I never wanted my feet to ever smell like that. Toe jam is not my oh. jam. You're really good about your fingernails too. For me, mm -hmm. your fingernails tell me about how clean you are. Yeah, they're clean. I always like to have clean, clean nails, mm -hmm. clean breath, mm -hmm. clean hair, mm -hmm. clean ears. You're really not supposed to clean your ears every day. I did that for years with alcohol, and they said that it actually just pushes the earwax in your oh, ear yeah. canal, and you I got go it to the stuck. Doctor. We had to send her to the doctor, the emergency room, because she was thought she would punctured her eardrum. <laughs> the doctor said, "Yeah, no, you just got too much earwax." <laughs> so the years of me just uh, doing this, doing this, doing this, piled up and. One day I just couldn't hear, and it's, I literally started getting an ache, and I thought some, I thought I had an earache, and he looked in it, and he was like, oh my God. <laughs> so. Ear hair, also not good. Ear hair. And nose hair. Mm. That's what I feel like I need to do. What? I wanna try the wax that you put in there, and you oh, just pull out. Oh, no. no. It looks really good on women. That sound, uh, no. But you that's you what, can, don't, they, mm. Wow. But that's what women do. We wax everywhere. Wow. Like the pain of cleanliness. No. You don't have lots of ear hair. No. You I, don't? No, I don't. Do I have hair in there? No. Is that a sign of age when you just like get tons of hair? Well, your ears and your nose always grow until you die. What do you find odor offensive? Like what are some of the things you're like, oh, or what are some of the worst things that you've seen? Leave it in the comments down below. You've I want seen to read them. or smelled. And a big thanks to Pronamel for sponsoring this video. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe to, to The Housing Life. Life. Oh, it was nice. It was. Together. Forever.